One of the biggest things that people worry about in feeding children these days is to make sure it's cheap, it's nutritious, taste it, and they're going to eat it. Yeah. I've got two grandchildren, yeah. you've got two sons. Got two boys, yeah, yeah. How do you deal with that? Well, I think what you've got to do is try and come up with stuff that's quick. So if I can get something that's delicious, that they'll eat, and that I eat, that kind of ticks all the boxes. Uh, and this is exactly one of those dishes that uh, has become a family sort of household favourite. I've got tagliatelle. I'm going to say with sausages because we all love sausages. Yep. Frozen peas and tomato sauce. Really nice and simple and very tasty. Tell us what your dish is going to be. So I'm doing a chicken milanese, a lovely breaded chicken breast with a spaghetti and tomato sauce. So the key to this dish is actually getting the tomato sauce right. For that you need the pan screaming hot so that I'm cooking off all of the water out of the tomatoes and basically concentrating the flavour but also caramelising the sugars that you get naturally in the tomatoes. In with our tomatoes and what I want is those to start sort of breaking down. A little bit of extra flavour, pinch a piece of your basil that's all right. You may have that as my guest. Thank as you very guest. much. I need a little bit of oregano, I think it works beautifully with tomatoes. Cool. What I'm going to do is just flatten out this chicken breast a little bit. So just gently tap it and as you said you're just kind of shaping it. It's not one of those jobs to get you the frustration of the week out at all. And then it's just a case of coating them in the flour, the egg and the bread crumbs, and then we're ready to start cooking them. So, just get my eggs. So the theory is that the flour sticks to the egg, and then the egg sticks on the bread crumb. Absolutely. So what we're doing is giving it a nice crust. And it also keeps the chicken lovely and moist, because you've sealed it, effectively, yeah. so none of that moisture can get out. So you end up with a lovely, moist chicken breast. I'm going to just carry on with these, Chef, and let you okay. uh, start right. with yours. So I've cooked four sausages, which I'm going to get a little bit cool, and then I've got some uh, raw sausages. You know, this takes me back to my childhood. My dad had a cafe, and the sausage maker was just across the road, and I used to run across the road when we run out of sausages to get another £10 of sausage from Ernie, the butcher, and I'd watch him put them into skins and link them up, and the first thing my dad would do when I got back was take the skins off, and I never, like never understood why. Huh? So I'm just going to chop this up. It's already minced meat, so I'm going to chop it up to get a nice brown colour. And I'm going to keep the same pan to cook it in, because all those flavours that came out of my original four sausages, I want to actually not lose. Let me just quickly wash my hands, because I've got the raw pork on there. So I'm just going to turn the board over. OK, so that's nice and clean now. So my sausage meat's browning, I'm going to put some onion in there now and then I've got tins of tomatoes I'm going to put in here to make my tomato sauce and I'm just going to squidge them up. So let that just cook away nicely, I tell you already I can feel an appetite coming on. Yeah I'm getting quite peckish now. And the other thing I'm going to do quickly, I'm going to take those sausages and cut them into little rings. Now we put the sausage in there, get all those flavours in there. And of course the nice thing for me is, my kids, they've got sausage in there, I'll have it, Grandad. Off you go, what are you doing next, Chef? Right, so now it's time to, uh, to fry off the chicken. So I've got a pan with some oil in there, and I'm just going to lay them in there, and give them about a minute and a half to two minutes each side. So that's not going to cook them all the way through, but it's going to give us the colour we want. And then I'm going to pop them in the oven. I'm going to put my tagliatelle on to cook now. Let's just put it all in there. Do you know what, I think I'll join you. I'm going to get my spaghetti. So I'm going to turn these over now, lovely bit of colour on there. I can feel there's a nice bit of crunch to the outside. So it's turned to the oven. Right, scoop all of that in there. Now what I'm going to do is sieve this sauce. Well, once this is done, I just need to drain my pasta and I think we'll be there and thereabouts, I reckon. I'm going to throw the peas in. Perfect. I'm going to go and drain my spaghetti now. There we go. Sauce back in the pan. In with my spaghetti. I'm going to finish this with a little bit of parmesan. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, look at that. And I think the key is a little squeeze of lemon. I agree. A little bit of basil. I'm just going to pour mine out. And then, just as you did. So there we have it, Chef. Show us your dish. Bring it over here. There we go. So I've got tagliatelle with a sausage sauce and the peas. I've got the chicken milanese with a tomato sauce and spaghetti. Brilliant. Well done, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.
<laughs> I think if you turn your ear, it'll, oh, it'll come in even more. Mm -hmm. Okay, Father, you've tasted both. What's your thinking? I'd go with, um, with this one, the chicken, actually, in the end. I'd go with the chicken as well, actually. I wouldn't think of doing that with pasta. Okay, young ladies, we need to know which one do you prefer, Emily? This one. Sausage. Well done, you. And Eleanor? Yes. <laughs> Well done, I'm on your side because I'm a kid anyway, I like that one. <laughs> huh?